gorgeous! Welcome to my channel. I'm Kopana from Kopana the Blog and thank you for choosing me. So this hairstyle may look a little familiar. Yes, I know, I know. That's because this is the same hairstyle that I wore in my simple five step hair routine for healthy natural hair. This is the video if you have not seen it yet. Now that hairstyle has been requested quite a number of times so I decided why not recreate the look and show you exactly how I do it. This hairstyle reminds me of back in the days when my mama used to do my hair before I used to go to school and she used to whip this up in 10 to 15 minutes because it is that easy to do. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do it step by step make it seem as simple as possible because this this is truly a simple hairstyle it lasts it is easy on your hairline, it is easy on your hair, and it's so great for us lazy naturalistas. So I want to get straight into this video, but first, I just want to let you know that it's free to subscribe. And I have a feeling that this is not the first time that you're watching my video and you're not subscribed. You know, there are some people who watch people's videos and then they are not subscribed. You know, the cops aren't going to come get you. They're not going to file a lawsuit. You're not going to get arrested. The world is not going to end and no one's going to send you a bill for subscribing to my channel. So I think it's about time you join the gorgeous gang and you subscribe. It's the right thing to do subscribe show me love and say hey girl i like your content i'll keep coming back for more so i'm gonna hit the subscribe button so you know that there's one extra person who loves your content and enjoys what you have done i have a lot of love and respect for each and every one of you who watch my videos and as i put so much effort into them and i'd really appreciate it if you just subscribe to my channel okay got it out the way i said it got it off my chest i'm happy let's get into the video Okay, so I'm starting on freshly washed hair and it is freshly washed and detangled using the Moisture Miracle product. I think I found my perfect combination. So I used the Moisture Miracle pre-shampoo to detangle my hair before, shampoo, before shampooing it with the Moisture Miracle shampoo as well. And my hair feels so soft, it feels so good, I will not lie to you. It actually feels really amazing and as you guys can see life is good when you've got a full hairline so what I'm going to be doing now is I'm actually just going to be making it damp again because I did leave it for a little bit more and then I'm going to go in with the moisture miracle coconut milk and honey leave-in it feels like it's got a bit of oil in it which makes it feel really good so I'm gonna put just a bit of that on Mm, smells nice. So now I'm going to be using the coconut oil and bamboo oil hydrate and strength leave-in cream. So you're probably wondering, okay, Miguel is putting on two different leave-ins, but the one is a cream and the one is like a oil spray. So I think using them both is the formula. Well, for me. My hair, guys, I wish you could feel how soft my hair is. Ooh. I am a happy chappy right now. My hair is so soft and so detangled. Got zero complaints about my life right now. Absolutely none. So what I want to do right now is that I want to have a perfect line right in the center of my head. Honestly, don't think it gets any better than this. And my hair feels really nicely moisturized, so I'm going to put them back into the little pigtail sessions, sections. Cool. And I'm going to do the exact same to the hair at the back. So I've moisturized my whole head. I have put in a leave-in conditioner, which is a spray that has a nice oil and some coconut. It has coconut oil and some honey in it. And then I went and put on a cream as well. So I've got the water, I've got the cream, I've got the oils in my hair, and I feel like it's sufficiently hydrated, still with a bit of stretch and slip in it, just to make sure my hair doesn't look dull while I am, you know, styling it. I'm going to keep my bottle of water close to me so that I can always stretch out my hair and make it easy to work with. I'm also going to put onto my scalp a hair fertilizer, which you can use any one you want to use. And the reason why I use it is I'm a firm believer in putting something on your scalp, a moisturizer of some sort, whether it is an oil or whether it is a hair food that you want to put on your scalp. I put it on because my scalp gets 
quite dry in winter and I need it. I know there's a lot of brands that are starting to create more and more hair foods because we are asking for them. So I am going to start by putting that on my hairline first. And the reason why I put it on the palm of my hand is just so that it can warm up while it's on the palm of my hand. I'm then going to undo this one quarter and I'm going to put it in part sections and just put the hair fertilizer on my scalp and we're all different so some people use oils this is what I use look how nice and luscious my hair is oh guys the combination that I used on my hair today oh I'll just recap on it at the end it makes me so happy and then I'm just gonna rub that in so basically massaging your scalp is very very important for you to actually get those good herbs into your scalp so you can cover it properly so it doesn't just sit on top of your scalp it actually goes into it and works then I'm going to start like cutting out the line that I want so I'm gonna have four lines so usually what I use is the corner of my head to actually know where I'm going so it's this corner of my hairline and this corner of my head that I use as a demarcation line. So I'm going to basically just make a straight line from the corner, from one, the first corner at the front to the corner at the back. And I'm going to put it back into its little pony. I don't want to tie it too many times. Okay, so here's the line that I'm going to be doing for the first one on the side, okay? So now you can see my hair is nice and soft. I can continue to put water on it if I still feel like it needs to move a bit more. But what I'm going to do is, I am going to create the boxes that I'm going to braid. So the first box is gonna go from behind my ear upwards, nice straight line, and that is the first box. So the neater the lines, the neater the look ends up being. I'm just gonna use this just to hold the hair back. Now I like to put water on, even if it's just on my fingers, on the hair, just so that the hair um, moves better, you know? And then, to make sure that the hair looks as sleek as possible, you might want to use a gel as you're doing this. So you want the hair to stretch, but you also want it to be sleek. And you want to make sure that these ends are nicely stretched out. And what you should do is also moisturize the ends of your hair with a cream. So the cream I'm going to be using is the Moisture Miracle Leave-In Cream. I'm just going to take just a little bit extra and I'm just going to put that on my ends. Just for moisture sake because your ends get dry very quickly. So then you're going to pull that, divide it into three and you're going to braid it inwards. Just a single braid. You're not braiding backwards, you're just braiding this one box. You're then going to go back to the rest of the hair and from the back of your ear, going to create another line from the bottom to the center of your head and create your second box. And you want to try and keep it as neat as possible. I can't, there we go. Secure the rest of the hair behind. I'm gonna put a little bit of water on my fingers just so I can use some of that water just to stretch this hair out. I'm gonna then use the gel to make sure this is nice and neat on the base and sleek, stretching the hair out. If you see me shaking my hand, it's because I get cramps on my hand. And then I'm going to take a bit of the cream, just a little bit, and put it on the ends of my hair to make sure the ends of my hair are nicely moisturized. So this is now where the trick comes in. I'm going to take this hair that I just braided and I'm going to join it with the block that I'm about to do now. Okay, so here's this hair and I'm going to gather it together in this block. I'm going to braid this block as well, but the difference is I'm going to include 
the braid from the first block. So here's the braid from the first block. I'm putting it into the hair here, you see? So as I start braiding, I'm braiding inwards. I'm, I'm basically adding the braid from this block into this block. And then I'm just going to continue braiding my hair down. Again, you want to tight, not too tight because you don't want to stress your scalp. So you're going to braid it as far down as you possibly can. And there's your braid. So you can see block one, I fit it into block two. Now I'm going into the third and final block in this line, which is at the back. I'm going to take my water again, just on my fingers. You can do it on your fingers or you can do it on your hair directly. And I'm just going to make sure this hair stretches out and that it's nicely detangled. So my hair was already detangled before I started. So I don't need to detangle it that much. You can use a brush if you want just to make sure that your hair is nicely combed out. I'm going to take the gel just to make sure that the hair stretches in a sleek. And then I'm going to take the cream just for the ends of my hair to make sure the ends of my hair are nicely moisturized. I'm then going to take this block. I'm going to divide my hair into three. And then I'm going to take this block, the second block, the braid from the second block and feed it into the third one. So before I even start braiding the third one, I'm going to grab the one from the second block Put it together with the other hair in the third block from the base and I'm going to start braiding it in. So it's in the braid from the base so that it's nice and flat. Boom. So what we're going to do with this hair here, obviously we're going to use edge control just to feed that in nicely. But that is the braid. So we're going to try and do the next line. And I'm going to repeat the steps so that you guys can see how that works. So for you, for those of you who don't know how to braid, how you braid is that you're going to take your hair and divide it into three equal blocks. Okay. It's as equal as I can get it for now. And how you braid is that you're going to take, this is my left, this is my right. I'm going to take the hair on the right and swap it with the hair in the middle, right? I'm gonna take the hair on the right, go over, bring it to the middle, take the middle hair, go under, bring it to the right. Then I'm going to repeat the same process on the left. Take the hair in the left, go over the hair in the middle, take the hair in the middle, go under to the left. So it's basically about just swapping the hair in the middle with the hair on the right and then swapping the hair on the right with the hair in the middle. So I'm going to continue. Hair on the left, over, hair in the middle, swap. Hair on the right, over, hair in the middle, swap. Hair on the left, over, hair in the middle, swap. Hair on the right, over, swap. So you just swap on the left, swap on the right, swap on the left, swap on the right, swap on the left, swap on the right. And you can hold your fingers whichever way makes you feel comfortable. There is no rule about which fingers or which hands work best. The point is you need to just swap. Swap the hair in the right with the one in the middle or swap the hair in the left with the one in the middle. So we're gonna do it again. Divide it into three. And you want to start nice and close to the base. So we're going to go nice and close to the base. So what are we going to do? We're going to take the hair in the middle, hair in the right, swap. Hair in the left, hair in the middle, swap. Hair on the right, hair in the middle, swap. Hair on the left, hair in the middle, swap. Hair on the right, hair in the middle, swap. So the one rule that you need to remember is that you need to choose whether the hair in the middle is always going to go over or always going to go under. So 
if it goes under the hair on the left then it needs to go under the hair on the right if you decide for it to go over then it always needs to go over so it needs to go over the hair in the middle or over the hair in the right so you decide so that one I was doing under which for me is actually unnatural I usually go over <laughs> So what I mean by under is that the hair in the middle always goes under the hair on the right and under the hair on the left. So cool. Here's my braid. I'm braiding as far down as I can. I'm going to leave that little bit out. And that's my braid. I'm done and dusted. complete look I hope that you like it this is something that you can do for your kids this is something that you can do for yourself it is a beautiful and simple protective style they can last up to two weeks depending on how thick or how thin your lines are or your blocks and you can definitely decide how long you want to keep it for this is really easy to do it is easy to maintain just make sure that you sleep with your satin bonnet and that you do your best to keep it as neat as possible tame those edges girl the same way that I do and you will be happy with this hairstyle for weeks and weeks when I do this it lasts about a week and then I take it out and I last with a nice big braid out afterwards so depending on how you want to do it you can do it whatever way you want to and use this hairstyle to protect your hair in the winter time or in the summer time something nice and easy to do and something stylish to rock I hope that you guys really like this tutorial and I hope that you'll be coming back for more because I have so much more content coming for you guys. For every single person who has subscribed to my channel, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining the gorgeous gang. I'm so happy to have you with us. But, you know, no video is done without those three selfies, so let's get straight into it. One, two, three. <laughs> thank you so much for watching gorgeous people don't forget to like comment and subscribe and definitely share this with a friend i'm kapana from kapana the blog and i just did the things mm -hmm.